Wild one and what's up? It's Josh. Welcome back. Today we are reacting to the brand new series Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, I'm very excited. I think everyone in the world is very excited about this right now. Um, I'm not going to ramble too much. Um, if you saw my trailer reaction, I'm I'm super psyched. Um, it's been like the most anticipated Star Wars show ever. So. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. If you guys enjoy, remember to like and subscribe. Meet Obi-Wan Kenobi. Clouded, this boy's future is. Wow, so straight away some flashbacks to the um, prequel trilogy. Qui-Gon Jinn, Yoda, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan, young Anakin. Mwah. Great way to start off the series. And a good apprentice, Obi Wan. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. I think this is really neat because it really, um, like, reinforces this question of if Qui Gon survived, would Anakin have gone to the dark side? I see you becoming the greatest of all, the Jedi. I feel lost. This, this is so cool. I've got like goosebumps. It, it's really, it's a nice way to go into it. And actually sort of um, subconsciously, I've recently watched the, um, the prequel trilogy. Um, I was just making my way through them when I had nothing to do. So as I watched Phantom Menace maybe three months ago, then Attack of the Clones 2 and more recently Revenge of the Sith so actually I've really lined myself up for this quite perfectly. I have failed you Anakin. I have failed you. It's over Anakin. I have the high ground. Uh, of course you got to start the Obi-Wan series with the greatest Obi-Wan meme of all time. You want Other than maybe hello there. So we're legit at like, what, f four minutes in, we haven't got into the episode, but it's already at the 10-10 rating. That was such a sick intro. Okay, no way are we doing this. We're starting off with more Order 66. It's like every piece of Star Wars media we're getting um, now we're getting like another flashback so obviously it kind of started with clone wars and then bad batch and then mando season f no there wasn't any in mando season two i don't believe but book of boba fett had the flashback in um and now this as well so we're just getting more and more of order 66 um as well as fallen order not that i've played it still but I, i've seen parts of that part of order 66 but we're getting more, which is mad. They're just building on this big thing that happened so long ago, but they're making it so much more great. Wow, it's very vibrant. Like, instantly, it's very colourful. It's a lot more colourful than it used to be. The blue lightsabers, the, the bolts from the blasters... The green light tape, it's all very more colourful. It gives this impact of sort of good against good, and I'm I'm really loving that. <laughs> Who is she? She she is badass. Look, she just protected like five younglings. I, I mean, she's just been hit, but she's proper like kicked ass here. It would have been very cool, so it's a slight missed opportunity in my opinion, but to have like the yellow lightsabers for temple guards maybe, and not that I'm complaining, it was a very sick scene already. Okay, so we're going straight in with it, the Inquisitors, the Grand Inquisitor, um, the other two. Fourth or fifth brother and Reva, I think her name is. I'm not too sure, but straight in, they've just landed in the middle of, middle of Tatooine, like like it's a landing port apparently. So 
So, his look has kind of grown on me a bit more. Um, I think over time since the trailer, it was like a slow burner. It's not terrible. Obviously, um, he doesn't have rectangle head. Um, but it doesn't look as bad as I remember looking in the trailer. For Fifth Brother, it's still a bit... Mm, it's all very... Like, that kind of looks a bit more natural. But he looks very makeup-y. Um, so I'm just, I don't know. There. So, I have very many questions. Right. She doesn't have the classic Inquisitor lightsaber. She doesn't have the ring round it. It's very cool. I love the hilt. Double bladed by the looks of it. Um, as well as I wanted to make a comment about um, the Grand Inquisitor's voice not being as good as um, Jason Isaacs was in Rebels. Obviously, it is a different actor. They didn't bring Jason Isaacs back, although he did want to return as the character. I don't know. It's one of those things where they just don't bring in the people who did it when it was animated back, like um, Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka. They brought in Rosario Dawson, but I don't know. He, he's quite menacing, so he's doing a good job in my book so far. Third sister, I will not warn you again. You will forget this fixation with Kenobi, or I will relieve you of your duties. Is that clear? Wow, okay, so third sister, got a thing for Kenobi. Don't blame her, handsome bloke. But I want to know, I want the story behind why. I know it's like the first 12 minutes, so we're going to get it in the season or the series because it is limited. But I am curious. There he is, our first look, 12 minutes in, of Kenobi himself looking older, more ragged, working in a meat factory. Fair play, got to make a living. Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? <laughs> oh. So we've got, you know, Kenobi's kind of little cave. Um, where I assume he's been sort of communing with Qui-Gon and living for the past 10 years. He's made friends with the Jawas. Um, they keep stealing from him. But... Yeah, this is this is Obi Wan's life. In pain, will you find? So we can see Kenobi's kind of suffering from some severe PTSD, which I don't think we can blame him for. He he went through a lot through the Clone Wars period. You know, lost his girlfriend, his brother, his master the whole Jedi Empire and now he's lived in solitude for 10 years, you know, guy's gonna have some issues. What are you doing here, Obi-Wan? My name is Ben. Come on, please. Please. You have no idea what I've been through. So, he's kind of, he's still hiding from, like, even his own, like, Jedi. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Obi-Wan's one of those, if the... If the his face, he's so recon recognisable. He was one of the big ones in the Jedi Order, so people are going to notice him. But <laughs> I don't know if it's... No, my name's Ben shit's going to work, if I'm honest. What about the people that need us? What about the fight? The fight is done. We lost. Wow, we, <laughs> we're really seeing this side of Kenobi, but I don't think we've ever seen. He's given up all hope. No, we just said the fight is done. We lost. They they did lose. There's over ten thousand Jedi at the height of the Jedi Order, and and now there's just stragglers. Probably less than fifty of them as well. Maybe less than a hundred. So this is a this is a, a pleasant surprise. I didn't think we'd see any of this, but. Princess Leia. I didn't think... I don't know how this will tie in. But it seems like it's going to somehow. Um, but what the fuck? That's mental. Um, I'm so here for this. Um, <laughs> does she really need someone to get help get her dressed? What the fuck's that about? Come on. You might be a princess, but 
stay humble. Alien Ranger. Probably scouting for Mersan pirates. I have to admit, it is a cute droid. It's very cute. So leave him on the farm with his family where he belongs. Oh. Oh. He's moody. Very moody. Don't know what Owen Lars thinks he's doing. Just because he's like his uncle. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. He, oh, he was more of a brother to Anakin than fucking Owen was, mate. Oh, pussy, mate. Tell me where the Jedi is, or this man and his family die. Ooh. Look at this. Is Kenobi going to bait himself this early on? Fuck! Because that's the only way I see this, unless this other guy comes round acting like a hero and then he'll get demolished. But, fuck! That was ruthless! You know, if you remember anything, rewards will be given. Suddenly, her saber has half of. half a ring. That was not there earlier. Okay, whatever. Next time. I take it back. Owen's got some balls. I like that. Save the bleeding heart for the Senate. A drink, Senator. Ah. It's free, PO. What? I. It, it's free, P.O. He's looking nice and shiny. Like that for him. Thanks. You don't need manners when you're talking to a lower life form. Then I guess I don't need manners when I'm talking to you. The only thing I would say, ten years later, and, and Leia looks like an eight-year-old. Maybe seven. She doesn't look ten. She's too small. He looks more like a ten-year-old, in my opinion. One day this planet will look to you, Leia. There are many ways to lead. You just have to find yours. I mean, I don't think it will. She's the reason the planet got destroyed. Not to point fingers. <laughs> she is ten years old and there are three of you. You're telling me not one of you can outpace her. Come on, be better. I'm not who I used to be. Find someone else. Wow. Fuck. I didn't expect that. <laughs> you know, he used the whole 10 years excuse. He's not who he used to be. Find someone else. He's full of savagery. Um, but I feel like he's obviously going to go and help later. It, I think that's inevitable. Um, but I think this is going to lead to the whole, um, in a new hope where she's like, go find Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's our only hope. So this is where she'll know him from, obviously, in my opinion. But this kind of means he has to get someone to look over after uh, Luke, which makes me want Ahsoka to do it. But I think because of their, uh, hers and Luke's conversation in the book of Boba Fett, it will be highly unlikely it is Ahsoka. They found him then and killed him and hung him in front of the whole town to prove a point. Nice. Signature behind a freight transport. The ship is on its way there now. I can't. She's my daughter. Obi-Wan. I told you. How come on, how did he find him? In a day, no nevertheless. If Bail Organa has found Obi Wan's secret cave, the Inquisitors fucking suck. This means unless he like could track for frequency the hologram was on. I don't know. Oh, mate! Obi Wan's lightsaber is still one of the coolest lightsaber hilts ever. I might do like a, a sort of top 10 video on top 10 lightsaber hilts, top 10 duels and stuff, just because 
Star Wars season. Why not? But we got Anakin's and Obi Wan's there, both buried. And he, there we go. He's got them out. He, how he remembered such a specific location, I don't know, but still. That's it. That's episode one. Um, we'll get straight into episode two in a second. But what an absolute banger that was. Uh, great start to the series. Uh, loved every second of it. Um, but very excited. We'll do an overall roundup at the end of episode two. But that was proper 10-10. So this is Dayu, our new sort of city planet, um, kind of Coruscant -y vibes, um, built up city, love it. I'm gonna enjoy having to explore around here this episode. I was someone's daughter once too. Here. That one's free. A couple more of those and you'll forget she ever existed. <laughs> Mental. What is it with everyone thinking that Obi Wan's a fucking nitty? Episode two offered death sticks. Uh, now he's just being offered different strands of spice. Fair play, Obi Wan. What you get up into your recreational time is up to you. I'd love to join you sometime. Oh, it's all there. Oh, you didn't have to. Every credit. Yeah, you're a scam artist, mate. No way, Jedi wouldn't get people to pay for their services. Just took money from that family. I got them safe, just a little poorer. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? That depends on what you tell me. Hi everyone, the king of just everything. You know, he don't miss a trick, this guy. I love him. This went to a whole new level of fucking breaking Obi-Wan, mate. Oh, Walter White over here, look at him. What's he doing in like a meth lab, mate? Mad. Stealing some death sticks, that's what he's doing. I figured you'd be smarter than to risk everything for a spoiled little... <laughs> mate, everyone's going through it again. He's getting beaten and all sorts. You know, we even saw in that last fight scene that he's just kind of not up to scratch as it used to be. Um, there was a guy that led battalions of clone troopers into battlefields and won to fighting two people and getting his ass beaten a little bit. I mean, he won, but he got he got it quite a lot. He's starting to feel those punches now, and he's just got caught out on a plan. Sucks to be him right now, I guess. Maybe that stench is your failure. There's a lot of tension between all the Inquisitors, um, especially sort of fourth brother, or fifth brother, whatever, and um, third sister. Grand Inquisitor, just the Grand Inquisitor. He gets he gets to say what he wants to say. He was badass in Rebels. He's pretty badass in this. I want to see some action with him. The other girl, I don't know who she is yet. She's just kind of showed up. Um, but the thing I have really appreciated is that most of the stuff we saw in the trailer has already or will already be shown in this episode the only bits we're kind of missing is the water planet um where the base is and that one scene with vader um but most of it we've seen so it means the last four episodes will be pretty much new content we haven't seen which will be really cool i read that jedi can make things float make me float what i want to float no. Obi-Wan, knock it out, please. It's starting to really fucking annoy me. Please shut it up. Fucking hell. I've never met a child so irritating. Extinguish him. Consider it done. What's it with the fucking Batman voice as well? Why is he trying to be Batman? You're not Batman. You've done fuck all for the first two episodes. The Grand Inquisitor's been in it less and he still seems... Oh, I don't know, man. So stop trying to be Batman. No noise from that. Her name's Lola. And she won't make any. She's hurt. Good. <laughs> oh, he's still as savage as ever. Fucking good. <laughs>
What is it with people in this series not being able to pace a, a 10 year old girl? She's 10. Kenobi, you're like 40. Your legs are triple the size of, the size of her. Not even your legs are the triple size of her legs. Pace her. Oh my god. I'm angry. <laughs> Hey yo, Reva could pace Leia, that's what I'm saying. She's been doing some flips and parkour shit. She's looking good doing it. Fair play, girl. Hold on! Hold on tight! Ben. Don't let go, Leia! Hold on tight! Ben. Mate, that girl is not strong enough to be holding that with one hand. Oh. <sighs> Shit, 10 years without using the Force, Kenobi ain't got it no more. He's he's struggled with that. So, fair play, because I thought for a second that, well, I, I, I do, uh, plot protection, obviously, and the fact I've seen a new hope means that the kid can't die. But I was like, maybe Reva's going to jump in and just have to help out. Go to these coordinates. They'll help you from there. And how do I know this isn't just a trap? What choice do you have? Fair, fair, he brought it back on himself, he, he helped him out, so, nicely done. No, she was a leader. She died a long time ago. I'm sorry. Oh, it's nice reminiscing about Padme. Uh, obviously, Obi-Wan respected her quite a bit, so, yeah, that's sweet. Feel you. Oh my god. So long it's been without a lightsaber duel. A brand new lightsaber duel that is. Yes. I'm so ready for this. Unless you're counting the the one in the book of Boba Fett with the dark saber, but I don't know if I do. <laughs> this is a proper lightsaber duel. I'm just going to take you to me. Lord Vader will be pleased. Well, you see the fear in his face for that one. I think he might run. I don't think he'll fight her. I think after hearing Lord Vader, I think he's he's going to freak a little bit and run. He's alive, Obi-Wan. Anakin Skywalker is alive. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's many things I'm I'm willing to accept about the Star Wars universe, but there was so few people, so few people that knew that Anakin was Darth Vader. The list of people that was was like um, Sidious, uh, Fawn, um, and a, a stormtrooper figured it out. He was like an old clone trooper. And then Anakin killed him in the comics. So, um, yeah, there's there's a few more to that list. I think Grand Moff Tarkin might know. Um, but for Reva to know, maybe the Grand Inquisitor as well. But I, I, I just highly doubt that she'd know that Anakin is Vader. Watch and learn. He doesn't die here. He lives. She, I, I did it. That threw me. That threw me so much. Because obviously he dies fighting Kane and Jarrus in season one of Rebels. <laughs> I can't believe that's proper thrown me. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't surprise me Kenobi ran. To find that out after everything, you know, that fight in Revenge of the Sith meant so much to Kenobi. He really didn't want to do it and he did what he had to do and he thought it was over and it wasn't. So to find that out 10 years later, it's going to freak him. 
So f fair, I understand why he ran that. But more importantly, the grand the grand inquisitor has just been stabbed and looks dead. What? Anakin. Ten out of ten again. Both episodes. It really, that last scene really nailed Obi-Wan's PTSD. Like, nailed it straight on the head to see then Anakin, or Vader, wake up in there, back to tank. Incre mate, that was, that was outstanding. I have so many questions, I can't wait until next Friday. I can't believe, but it looks like the Grand Inquisitor's dead, I, I'm so confused by that. Um, unless it wasn't the Grand Inquisitor. That's the only assumption. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe they'll bring Jason Isaacs in just, just to play the Grand Inquisitor and this was just a ruse. Um, because he hasn't been called Grand Inquisitor yet, has he? Maybe he has, I don't know. Uh, that, that's not what I've been focused on. What the fuck? Wow. If it keeps going like this, this might be the best piece of Star Wars media we'll ever get. Um, let's go over it. I mean, I don't... There's so much. Um, so, I liked episode one. It, it, it just set the scene, really. It was... It wasn't a lot of action, but it set... Ten years later, what Obi-Wan's doing, Owen, Luke, it set up Leia, um, the Organas, all of what's been going on in this time period basically tells you. It, it, without needing to tell you, it has enough going on to keep you interested and it was a banging episode you got introduced to the... Uh, uh, the Inquisitors and the Hunt for the Jedi and then the other Jedi turned up and then he died and um, it was all this and then on the other side you got Bail Organa and his wife and Leia and you see um, see Free PO and everything that goes on there. You get introduced to young Leia and she gets taken and that then leads to Bail. Yeah, so. That happened, and then to have Bale show up and ask Obi-Wan to become Obi-Wan again it was very powerful. Um, we can see this struggle with Kenobi of almost trying to reach out to Qui-Gon. Constantly, it's happened a couple times now, where he's tried to reach out to him, and he's not got any answer back, so it's almost like in this 10 years period he hasn't heard much from Qui-Gon. I'm kind of hoping that in this last, well, maybe potentially in the last episode that we'll see or hear Qui-Gon say something to Obi-Wan just so that we'll let know that this is when he spoke to Qui-Gon and then this is what he'll be doing in his, the rest of his isolation because we know that Kenobi goes back to isolation after this for Maul to then come and fight, find Luke and... Obi-Wan kills him, etc. Um, because obviously that happens later in Rebels after the Grand Inquisitor is dead, so we know this has to be beforehand. Um, if Maul turn up, that's all I have to say. If Maul turn up, it'd be phenomenal, but I highly doubt that. I don't, I think that'd be too much. You know, we've got four Inquisitors so far. Um, Reva, fourth or fifth brother, Grand Inquisitor, and then the other one, that we didn't get a name for. Um, so we've seen those four. Vader as well on top of that. We're dealing with Kenobi. Uh, possibly Qui-Gon. And there's just a lot of story to tell. Four episodes left. This was a short episode. Episode two. 35 minutes long. Um, so considering to episode one which was 52. It just depends the length of the other four. But this was very short. I was very surprised when I saw it. I assume the rest will be longer. This was kind of a continuation to episode one, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I love. In this episode was really cool to see. Um, I can't think of what the planet's called now. 
Mayu, something you. Um, but all the bounty hunters and the drug dens and, you know, the lab and this city built up environment almost like the lower levels of Coruscant was very cool. The battle was cool seeing Kenobi pinned on the rooftop with the guys either side shooting at him whilst having to worry about Leia. Um, the fake Jedi Hadji, Hadj, Hadja, H something, it had a J in it. Um, I liked his character. Um, obviously he was scamming people at the start, but then he tried to help everyone out, so that kind of redeemed it. Same with uh, Owen in episode one, where he was being a dick to Obi-Wan, and then Reva was terrifying him, and he, he held strong, he didn't say anything about Obi-Wan, so I do I respect both of them for that. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Batman voice and fourth or fifth brother. I, I literally, in my Star Wars trailer, I, I had to put in context what it was. I'm not doing that again. I'll just make sure I know for next episode. Um, but yeah, no, this was incredible. I can't believe it's finally here. Um, yeah, I'm... As well as the last kind of bit, I think for, was the really sort of perfect part of these, this episode was um, that last scene in the cargo bay when obviously I'm going to put aside the Anakin comment um, it just it, it wasn't needed unless I, uh, we get a decent explanation of why Reva knows it's going to really piss me off um, for the remainder of the series because no one Vader wanted no one to know that he was Anakin Skywalker. Um, but, you know, I, it almost felt it didn't be, it wasn't needed because Obi-Wan knew he was Vader. We see that in Revenge of the Sith and you saw the fear on his face and I think it was almost put in to just say that just because maybe not hardcore fans didn't know that Obi-Wan knew he was Vader um or for whatever reason they haven't any other fan that hasn't watched any of the other films didn't know anakin was vader or whatever um but it was a very needless comment but i've gone past my point it, the scene was perfect of him finding out for fear because obi-wan was ready to fight we we saw that he sent leia off i'll be right behind you but if i'm not there he was ready to fight and Reva's talking and talking and talking and he's moving and he's finding his opportunity and then she says that and he freaks. And it, you see the fear in his eyes and his face. He goes still. And she was about to find him. And he hadn't brought himself together. And the Grand Inquisitor interrupted that. And it gave him that moment he needed. Just to get away. To then have a complete breakdown. And then the whole, you know, how the Force works. We've seen it before with Luke and Vader in the original trilogy. And even Ahsoka and Vader in Rebels. When he says Anakin, and then Anakin wakes up in the back to tank on, um, um, assumably in Mustafa in Vader's castle. Um, it was so incredible. Um, wow, that's all I have to say. There were so many good things about the first two episodes. Seeing the lightsaber again, but yeah. Um... I'm just amazed. I knew it would be good. I didn't think it would be this good. Uh, I'm going to be dead on it next week. I've been really shit with YouTube over the last week. I've not been very well and I've been distracted. But I was like, I've got to get this out. I've got to do it. And I'm glad I did. But next week, you best believe this will be out straight away. Um... But yeah, let me know what your thoughts of were of the um, episodes in the comments below. Let me know your expectations and theories for the next four, or the, just do the, and the next one, of course, because that's the one we'll be seeing next. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.